Uncle Bob coming to you live. It's uh, October 8th, 2021. It's uh, that time of year. Halloween is upon us, our favorite time of the year. Everybody's out there getting their houses all decorated and festive. I just left uh, <clears throat> the gym here at LA Fitness in Riverside. I was at Kaiser this morning. I think they took about four gallons of blood from me. Um, <laughs> more on that later, not today. But, uh, you know, there, uh, my point today is um, on anger. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of anger out there. I try not to waste my time with it. It's not worth it. Um, it sucks the life out of you, ages you. Um, it's just, uh, it, it's, it's a wasted emotion. But, you know, on top of anger, the other wasted emotion is uh, being tired. Uh, there are days, man, when it's just hard uh, to get up and get out of bed and get moving, right? I, every once in a while, I get hit with that, and it's a little frustrating. So I'm in the gym a little bit late today. But as much as I tried to talk myself out of it, I got in there and I did it. And you know what I find when uh, I'm when I'm talking myself out of it is realizing that I know when I get in there, I'm gonna hit it and I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna be fine and I'm gonna it's gonna be a great day. Now this is life in general, folks. This isn't just the gym. This is life. We'll talk ourselves out of things and then if we just get started. It ends up turning out okay. Trust me. Um, so anyway, I got in 200 reps of uh, back and buys. I know it sounds hard, right? 200 reps, 300 reps. It's really not. If you do the math, uh, five exercises, each body part, uh, 40 reps, each movement, right? Four and four is eight. Eight and eight is six. That's actually 160 right there, right? And then 40, 200. It's pretty easy. And then I did 300 reps of abs, and I also got in that cardio. And I'm telling you, the re look, I, I don't portray the workout thing to blow my own horn. <clears throat> I grew up skinny. I grew up uh, not the most physically fit kid in the world. And then sometime around 15 years old, I started getting after it and things changed. And since then, I've never backed off. I've never surrendered. I keep swinging. And you know what? I feel pretty damn good every day. I don't have cholesterol issues. I don't have high blood pressure. Um, all that, you know, it's pretty good stuff. I'm just trying to, to live by example and hopefully motivate a few of you while I'm at it. Because I know it's hard, right? So I didn't want to get in here today. I got in here and I got five miles of cardio on that damn bike. And uh, I got in the 200 reps of each body part and 300 abs. And I'm feeling pretty good. And we're going to talk back about anger, right? That wasted energy. And look, I'm not going to go into any uh, stories about anger. You know what it is. You get out there and somebody, and I love Marcus Aurelius, okay? Philosophy is a great thing, and Marcus was a phenomenal Stoic. If you haven't read about the man, dig in, do some research. He was the last of the great Caesars, and he was a man of the people. So what he said about anger was simply this about a thousand years ago. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the cause of it. Think about that. Reflect, right? Because there's, there's a time to reflect and there's a time to shine. It's time to shine, folks. Uncle Bob is out. Have a great one.